there's nothing that replaces repetition. It really is just a commitment to showing up consistently. You will get better every upload. You gotta just press record. Being a content creator the last multiple years, what are just some ways for people to level up their content and even as a content creator, maybe being more efficient and stuff? The person you are today, the creator you are today, is not the creator you will be in a year from now, hence the creator that actually posts consistently. So I would really just encourage you to just commit to that schedule and, and not to pick yourself apart, but watch it back. You know, like it, I think when you study pro athletes, they're, they're at the highest level. What are they doing? Pro athletes have their own trainers. Pro athletes are watching their game tape. Pro athletes are studying what they're doing and, and, and their opponents. And I know you'll speak into this in just a moment about studying YouTube, but I definitely think watching yourself back, how do you communicate to the camera? Are you stiff? Are you robotic? So uh, this is, I guess, the first Sean Thanks vlog. Choosing that one thing that you can level up with in the next video, over time, that compound interest of improvement will game change your content. Real quick, I want to thank Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Epidemicsound.com is a great way for you to find music that you can use in your YouTube videos and still monetize your videos. So if you're just using any music off of the internet, you want to be careful because as soon as you get monetized, those videos are not gonna allow you to make money on YouTube. So you want to use royalty-free music and at epidemicsound.com, they have tons of music that you can use in in your videos to still make money and they sound really, really good. Epidemic wants to give you your first month for absolutely free so you can try them out and see if you like it as much as we do. Just go to thinkmediasounds.com or check the link down in the description. Back to the video. One thing I like to do too is when I'm watching YouTube for myself just for fun is I'll just start watching videos and then I'll pause myself and I'll be like, I just watched that entire video and that was awesome. And then I'm like, why did I love that? Or why did I click on that? I'll go into my history and I'm like, why did I click on that video? Something you can actually do is go to your homepage and see if there's any like really cool videos and then be like, okay, I'm about to watch this, but like, why do I want to click on this? And actually starting to think like a viewer will help you as a content creator. And so that's one of the things that I've done is put myself in that shoes. Another thing is experimenting. So I just started experimenting with our end card format because I was watching Dave Ramsey clips. And for some reason, he just kept getting me going on to the next video and the next <laughs> video. And they they do something dude, a little bit different. Dude, your finances okay, dude? Like, you... I'm on baby stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what baby stuff I'm on. <laughs> okay, right. But basically... You know, I, I literally just started this experiment with like two videos where the end card is different. And then I went into the analytics, which is another hack. Go into your analytics and actually look at your retention graphs, look at your click through rates, look at what videos have basically will tell you, hey, these are your top 10 videos where people have stayed the longest of the first 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Like looking at all that stuff, YouTube is telling you, Keep doing this. And so you want to study your own content, not just look at other people's stuff. But what Great. I noticed was once I applied this new end card experiment was we weren't having this cliff in some of my videos. It was just barely dipping down. And I was like, okay, okay. this is really cool. And this can help kind of move the needle slowly. And so I think leveling up, experimenting, and sometimes you're like, yo, this video got five views. It didn't work. Um, you know, again, it takes time to right. on YouTube sometimes. But yeah, experiment, yeah. try yeah. new stuff. Try new things. And just so you know, YouTube rewards the people that are posting consistently. The more videos you post, the more data you are given, and you can actually use that to your advantage. It doesn't help to post seldomly and try to make conclusions from that. You want to post consistently so that you can get that information and then make those tweaks that lead to giant peaks. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to check out the entire talk on our podcast, then click on the screen. Omar and I go over how YouTube is changing and what you need to do in order to evolve to make it on this platform. I'll see you guys in the next video.